Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first ever book review, like dedicated book review video. Um, if you watch me, you might know from my wrap ups that I'm not the best at explaining books or describing my thoughts and opinions on them. But I'm going to try today because I am reviewing Room 119 by T.F. Lintz and I was sent this copy just so you all know however this does not affect my opinion in any way I as you can see took a lot of time going through this is the first book that I've like annotated I'll often tab books but like in this book well, I say annotated I didn't write in like write but I underlined any p any places you see tabs have probably got underlines in them as well and that was so that I could like think through every single line properly, make sure that I was really paying attention. It took me ages to read this book. It is 270 pages, which is quite a small book considering. However, I wanted to make sure that I took everything in. So it took me like five days. I will start by telling you about the story. This is spoiler free. So I will tell you about the story in a spoiler free way. And then I will go on to my thoughts and opinions. Just so you know, there will be a giveaway for this book. I will talk more about that at the end. Not this exact copy, because this is my copy and I'm keeping it. <laughs> but there will be a giveaway at the end of this video. Room 119 is about a man named Dean Harrison, and he is a trader, a stocks trader in Whitby. As it'll say down there, the Whitby trader. And his life revolves around making a lot of money for the company that he works for. He is really good with stocks. You know, he is an insider giving him advice. So he pretty much wins every trade until one trade comes along and his insider gives him the information and then he has a phone call to hand back out and something happens and he doesn't get the message and he loses 400 million of his boss's money. As I'm sure you can imagine, there's not much to come back from on that, okay? He was fired, shock, this is not a spoiler, this is in within the first 50 pages. Oh, this book is hell of a lot more than a man doing stocks and st trades, let me assure you. I was like quite invested in that part of the story. I like a domestic story where you see people's lives. I enjoy that. And so I hated Dean in the beginning. I really thought, what an ass. He had no time for his family. He had a daughter who's 15 years old who doesn't come across as 15. She came across as about 12 years old through the whole thing. And like, she kind of annoyed me. I don't like Jodie in this story at all. But like, you're not gonna like every character. I did like Dean in the end, and I thought he was very good and an amazing character. And I liked his wife, somewhat. I, re I really have a hard time liking characters. So upon losing his job and kind of going through a bit of a hard time with his wife, because his wife finds out that he went to Mallorca, no, Benidorm, a week or two previous and didn't tell her, so she thinks that he is cheating on her, which is never clarified, or is it? Either way, it's not an important part of the story. Um, <laughs> I don't think he was. Blue is sad. Yellow is an interesting moment, something I think I should remember, something I'm like, oh, that's fascinating. Pink is a scene that I loved, or a heartwarming scene. Uh, um, orange is a scene that I found angering. There was more of those at the beginning than the end. What colour haven't I done? Green. Green is funny. Now, you might not be able to tell the difference between yellow and green, especially the ones stacked in front of each other. There's a lot of green in here. The first green that I came to was actually in the foreword. For, for word, I can't say that. It was actually in the foreword. I was already laughing. That explains my system, so that might help you see what I thought about the book. I should have mentioned that at the beginning. We Once we... Once he loses his job and he's kind of going through this part where his wife, you know, a little bit of an argument, something happens and it's brushed over and I was like, crikey, I'm shocked. That that was shocking to me. That was the first time I thought to myself, that was really quickly brushed over. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You find out later on why it was brushed over. However, you then take a turn of events and in his low stage of his life, he debates suicide. So there is a trigger warning for that. He stands at the top of a cliff and he's like, I think I'm gonna do it. You know, so trigger warning there. However, there are two people there and they stop him or well, they, they tell him well they actually they tell him to do it <laughs> but in reality then they say look i know where you can get help and that's in room 119 at this hotel that he's never heard of and he's like okay fine i'll go 
And so he goes to said hotel and he asks for room 119 and he stays in room 119 and they're like, are you sure you want that room? And he's like, yeah. And then you know, he's like, why wouldn't I want that room? And they're like, it's not the best room. Like we have much better rooms. And he's like, oh, I want that room. So he gets that room. Now when he gets there, things start to go absolutely crazy. And I'm not gonna say it because I actually want you to experience the whole craziness of it all completely by yourself. So I've talked you up to about room page probably 60 or 70 and then it's all on you from there. This book goes on one hell of a ride, okay? The, the thing about this book is it's not realistic. Um, how do I describe this? It's, it's crazy. It's, and you've got to have imagination to read this book because ev but everything that happens is a message. It has a lot of meaning behind grieving and death and understanding your importance of your family and how you should be treating people with respect, how people can change, people can grow, people can learn. Not everything is as it seems. The book is unexplainable. There's no explanation for what happens within this book. And in that way, it's magical. Now, obviously you can tell I like this story from what I've said. You can tell, like, I really did enjoy it. So now I can't really tell you much more of the story and I know that's really annoying in a book review that I can't tell you more of a synopsis but it's because this book is such a crazy story that you have to experience this for yourself. I cannot tell you what happens, I cannot tell you why these things happened. You just need to trust me and go into it with this open mind ready to expect the unexpected. I, I have really really debated on my rating now, I loved this book. Okay, I did. I thought the story was amazing. I thought the messages brought forward were amazing. I thought that this was all inspired by a dream that the author had. He had a dream one day, he told his co-worker and she said, well, why don't you make this into a story? I'm like, write a book about this. And he's like, maybe I should. I'm glad he did. I'm not sure what the author was on when he had this dream, but crikey, was it hell of a dream? And I was there for every moment of it. I was invested, as you can see from how many tabs there are, and there's more than there appear because they're just double stacked. It was a wild ride. And as you can probably see, there was a lot less on the ending part than there are at the beginning. And that is because I became so engrossed. I physically could not take a moment to tab anything. I was like, I just need to keep reading. The last part was so like, what the hell is going on? I was tricked over and over and over again. And it kept me on my toes. So that to me is a very good book with a high rating. I did have issues with the writing style. Now my issue with the writing style is this is a self-published book. That's fine. And I like that. I want to support authors with self-published works because do you know what? Writing a book is hard and to then write a book and be in charge of everything yourself is such an accomplishment that I just, I could never do it. And it impresses me every time I see someone have done it. So. I was I was lenient with the issues that I had with the writing style. The issues I had more, I felt that certain sentences didn't have to be in there. Like it was a lot of dialogue, a lot of sentences that I was just a bit like, okay, fine. Um, but like at one point they say about having a cup, cup of Costa coffee and it's like, they describe the Costa coffee and he puts it to his lips. It didn't bother me. It wasn't a problem. It's just not, It was. I just noticed that it happened a lot. However, it didn't distract me from the story and I was thinking to myself, do I mark it down? And I was like, no, that seems really, really stupid to have do something like that. Like to mark it down for that is crazy. So I was trying to work out what I wanted to give it overall because I was trying to take in every factor. The characters, I didn't like them. Well, no, that's a lie. I didn't like the, you know, the family. So for the main characters, you know, for the, for the main three of the family, we have Dean and then his wife and his daughter. I did not like Jodie, his daughter, I thought she was really annoying. She didn't come across as a 15 year old. And I just thought, I could understand how upset she was and I felt for her, I did. But I didn't think that she really presented somebody who was going through the struggle that she was going through. And I didn't like her. And I don't think that was down to bad writing. I think that was down to, I just didn't like her from the beginning. And that made me not like her all the way through. I didn't like his wife because I thought she was just a bit of a bitch. But I think if you put yourself in her shoes, 
like at the beginning I hated Dean and I was like this poor wife what is she going through why is he doing this to her but then I started to really like Dean and so therefore I started to dislike the wife yeah which made it hard but then all the supporting characters within the hotel of where room 119 is I loved them all and then even more when I found out the backstory to all of them my heart was just so full and so the characters for me were really well done and I gave them full marks. The writing, it, it, the writing was so good considering that it was a self-wrote book and the author has not read that many books. I think it was something like he said he's read 19 books and I was like, 19? I've read more books, I've read 19, more than 19 books last month. Like, what do you mean you've only read 19 books? So to consider in the fact that he hasn't read that many books, it does not come across in here at all does not come across that he did not know how to write a book or anything like that it was really impressive so I had to give it really high marks for writing as well I had my minor nitpicks with it but it was nothing in comparison absolutely nothing so I was like you know almost full marks there I'd say if not full marks the cover I am in love with this cover it is matte you might not be able to tell but it is matte I love it I love the spine I love the back I love the front I love actually the pages, they're very white and crisp. So for presentation, it's full marks. It's beyond full marks. Marks. I absolutely love this book. I don't know what it is, it's just incredible. The cover is one of my favourites that I've ever owned. And so now I think it's time I finally give you my actual rating for this book because you can see I love it. And I have decided to give this a five star. I don't think anyone else could possibly have come up with a story this elaborate and incredible and fantastical and still keep me hooked and down to earth I was so impressed and I just <sighs> this author has more works and I'm gonna go and read them because if it's anything like this one I'm gonna be super impressed so yes a five star for this book I completely recommend I don't know if this review was any good because my thoughts I've been thinking about them all night I've tried to be coherent I've written them all down I'm hoping it came across that way and that you understood how good this book is which it's very hard to describe and I I know I probably did do the best job of it but I genuinely urge you all so bad to go out and get this book. The book is on Amazon and you can get it on Kindle as well which is what I'm doing my giveaway for so I really really hope you do decide to go out and get this book and if you do please let me know because it, I really want to talk to you all about it it is so good. So now on to the giveaway portion which I promised. I'm giving away a Kindle copy of Room 119 um, which does mean that this will be UK only. I'm really, really sorry, but I can only give you Kindle books away through the UK because I'm in the UK. I'm really sorry about that. If you would like to win this book, I have not decided how many I'm going to give away. I guess I'll just see how many people enter <laughs> as to how many I feel I should give away in ratio to the um, entries. If you'd like to enter this giveaway, go down into the comments. Let me know that you're interested in reading this book and let me know what your favourite read of this month has been so far. If you've not read it yet so far, then do last month, that's fine. And yeah, um, leave your Twitter handle or your Instagram handle and let me know which one it is so I can contact you if you win and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that's everything. I really hope you guys choose to enter the giveaway and if you don't win, I seriously suggest you get this book anyway because it is so good. I've already gifted it to both Connor and Jade on booktube because I was like, you guys need to read this. Like you have to, I need someone to talk about this with. Another review that's been done is by Books and Barbells. I think that's her name, Books and Barbells. I really hope I got that right. She did a really good review, a long review when she went into depth, spoiler free completely. And she well, she did a really good job of that review. And that's the review that made me want to read this book from the beginning. And she did a reading vlog when she read it. So I really suggest you go over to her channel as well to get even more information. I will tag the author of the book down below. He has got a Twitter page and an Instagram page and our books and barbells down below so that you can go and see that. And yeah, I hope you entered the giveaway. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope I did okay. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.